Okay, Mike, this looks like this is it. Looks like it used to be a hardware store, but now it's some guy's shop. Yeah. Now, what are we doing here again? Well, we're meeting a guy named Scotty Schultz, who um, is going to show us a whole new concept in ultra, ultra, ultra lightweight RVs. All right, let's meet him. Mike and Jennifer, welcome to Bike Stream hey, RV. Scott. Nice to have hey, you Scott. guys here. Nice to be here. Come on, we'll, we'll, let's take you out back and show you the lightest. Yeah, the timing is right for the Bike Stream RV to hit the market because uh, there's a confluence of about three macroeconomic trends right now that's going to help these things really take off into the future. Uh, the green movement, number one, the tiny house movement, number two, and then bicycling's been on the rise for the last 20 years in this country. There are so many places to ride today that you couldn't ride two decades ago. So uh, I think that the timing is perfect for this, Mike. Well, tell us about the bike stream. Well, uh, the whole idea started two years ago. My son is a hipster, so he rides his bicycle everywhere. And he said, I wish they made something that we could go camping behind our bicycles, Dad. And I said, well, I'm sure they do. We looked into it and we found out nobody's mass producing them. Um, we hooked up with a brilliant designer and inventor out in Colorado who came up with the basic shape of the unit. And uh, from there, uh, we kind of put our knowledge of the RV industry into the rest of the product, came up with about 25 or 30 extra innovations, and we feel like we've got a, a product now that'll sell well in the marketplace. Tell us what they're made of, uh, how heavy they are, and a okay. little bit about the structure. All right, about 95% of the content by weight is made in the United States. The main ingredient, the colored pieces that you see here, uh, that's called corrugated plastic and the manufacturer that we prefer to use is called Primex and they're right out of Richmond, Indiana. So it's a, it's a corrugated plastic? Corrugated plastic, it is waterproof and has a good durability in uh, all outdoor conditions. And it's enough to sleep one person? Yep, they're just big enough to sleep one person. As a matter of fact, uh, there's an old saying that says uh, good design is the least possible amount of design and that's part of what we've put into this product from the very beginning. We started out with a human body, figured out how much room you needed to be comfortable so you could turn over while you're sleeping, and then designed the shape of that around a typical human human body. And what do you put in it? You put a pad and a sleeping pad, sleeping bag? And... Yeah, we've got a pretty comprehensive list of standard features, but the important things are uh, a sleeping mat, a uh, water supply, a uh, dry sink, four cabinets to stow your gear in, and then of course the housing is secure enough where you can lean up against it if you're reading a book, because you don't want to lay down all the time, so you can sit inside of these as well. And uh, it keeps you warm, secure, and dry. How much does it weigh? The entire weight for an RV is 70 pounds. The one that we're uh, leaning on here is actually a cargo trailer, and that one only weighs 46 pounds. So that'd be great if you wanted to bicycle and throw some, like a tent inside it and a, a grill and a cooler and all that. Well, this is really cozy. Let me see that, Jen. So we got a little storage place in there. And over here, look at that. We got water, more storage up here. And it's a nice little skylight. I like that. Side ventilation. This is very cool. And it's plenty long enough. Look at this. There's my feet down there. Why don't we shut that door there? Shut the door? Yeah. All right, I'm in here, nice and cozy. Huh? This is pretty cool. <laughs> I'll be darned, I need a pillow. But this is pretty good. This is really nice, very comfortable. It's more room than a tent. This is very cool. I'm impressed. I think there's more room than a tent. This is pretty good. 
all three of these behind me are RVs, and those have everything that we talked about before. The cargo trailer is just like a full-size cargo trailer. It's an empty shell. You put whatever you want inside it. The RVs have all the amenities that you need to live that you need to live in. Scott, where will these sell? And have you have you lined up distributors or dealers, or do you? How will people buy them? I'm still looking to sign up my first dealer. And uh, my current thinking is that I'm going to try to sell them through the RV dealer network because it's already well established. One of the things that I feel these will offer the dealers is it'll bring a whole new group of people into their uh, showrooms. Some of them are going to end up buying my product. Some of them are going to end up buying a pop-up camper. Some of them are going to end up buying a traditional hard-sided RV. It's a win-win-win for the RV dealer. And um, do you see ever selling them online at all? Yes, I will be selling them direct to the public uh, on the internet for $2,395 and that includes delivery in the lower 48 states. Setting it up is very similar to setting up a traditional RV. It's got a front landing gear, a rear landing gear, and wheel chocks. Once you get those three things uh, established, it's 100% secure. One of the differences is I recently had a contest to see how fast people could do it and the winner of that contest set it up in 17 seconds. At, you know, unhooked it from the bike and got it completely set up and ready to crawl inside of in 17 seconds. Takes me about 90. <laughs> How would you take these in, say, a road truck? Well, you'd have to pull it in, in another trailer, a little landscaping or trailer you, behind your RV. Or you could put it in a FedEx box and ship it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so what do you think? Well, I'm thinking about this. Now there's A's and there's B's and there's C's. Um, would this be a B minus? A class B minus RV. I think it's pretty cool. I can't wait to try one out sometime. You let me go camping in one of those? Sure. All right. Hey, we're Mike and Jennifer. Thank you guys for watching our uh, RV Lifestyle channel here on YouTube. Do us a favor, give it a thumbs up. We'll put a link to Scotty's bike stream trailers and RVs uh, on the description below so you can check it out yourself. Meantime, do us a favor and subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye. Happy trails.